<sighs> hey, babe. It's so great to see you. Seriously. You have no idea how much a relief it is to finally interact with a good person. I've been dealing with assholes and sinners all day. I mean, I know it's sort of what we do, but it just gets grating. You know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, I did have a bad day at work. Scooch, I want cuddles. <sighs> That's better. Mm. Being in your arms makes me feel warm in the fires of hell ever could. I mean, I know I'm usually one of the few air-conditioned sections of hell since I only work there, but... I think the metaphor still stands. Do you mind if I just, like... vent for a moment? Thanks. Because there was this one guy who just refused to believe he belonged in hell. He kept insisting, send me up, send me up. I've got family waiting for me in heaven. Little did he know, his family was also in hell. But that didn't stop him from making a fuss and throwing my papers everywhere and demanding to speak to the big D himself. Now, let me tell you, the big guy was not happy. But hey... A little bit of karmic justice for that guy. For being so unruly, his punishment was doubled. <laughs> so, that story has a happy ending. But it was still incredibly stressful. But, that just kind of describes my whole day. Stressful. I really can't put into words how sick I am of saying the phrase. And what are your sins? And I swear, if someone makes another work as hell joke, I'm going to stab them with a pitchfork. I know, I know I'm not a qualified torturer, but something tells me the boss would let that one slide. <sighs> Sorry, babe. I've been going on and on about my day. How was yours? Not too stressful, I hope. Oh, I'm sorry. No, babe. Stop being so awesome. You're gonna make me cry. How did I get lucky enough to have you in my life? I mean, I honestly am pretty fortunate. The one and only person I've ever met on Earth who wasn't immediately scared of me due to the horns and red skin. And they're not only my partner, but also the sweetest, most loving, and caring person I've ever met. And you know, I don't think I've told you this, but you single-handedly restored my faith in humanity. Did you know that? Oh. <laughs> I have. But that's because it's true, okay? Every day at work, I have to deal with the absolute bottom of the barrel, worst of the worst, scum of the earth. All the people who give humanity a bad name. And sometimes, when I'm doing the paperwork for the 58th murderer that day, I kind of lose sight of the positives. The friendly people. The ones who want to work to make the world a better place than they found it. The people who would give the shirt off their back if it meant you were even a little bit happier. People like you. <laughs> That's why when I come home I usually cheer up so quickly. Even if it's been a terrible day. Because the difference between them, the people being checked into hell, and you, a sweet, innocent, wonderful, caring person like you with a heart of gold is just too big to ignore. And you're the one person who can always cheer me up when I'm feeling depressed. Mm. Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to tell you, but I've been talking with the boss and, well, he's offered you a chance to become a demon after death. The only caveat would be you have to start working in hell like me. 
But you know, being a secretary down there isn't actually all that bad. If you can get past the torment of depressing people, they actually have great benefits. Every third week off, and two months vacation, oh, and surprisingly good dental too. Plus, you'll get to live forever with me, and we can be a demon couple. Plus, you'll get to live forever with me, and we can be a demon couple. But I understand if you need some time to think about it. It is a very sudden offer for an incredibly big decision. I do realize that. <laughs> but hey, you've got at least 80 more years to decide. Even more if I can persuade the big guy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted. I've been on all day and you know how people just sap the life out of me. I just want to lie here all night with you as my pillow. Maybe binge a show on Netflix and then <laughs> we can eat a large pizza and fall asleep. <laughs> Speaking of which, you want to get that ordered now? I'm starving. You should know my toppings by now and... Oh, let's also get wings this time. Yeah, I want like... And three dozen chicken wings. And yeah, I know I say that every time. And every time I always end up eating less than half of what I get. But this time I really mean it. And I know I say that every time too. But hey, me not eating very much just means more leftovers. And I know you love having pizza for breakfast. I've seen you do it too many times not to piece that one together. And so yeah. And two large pizzas and three orders of chicken wings. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're the best. Now, do you mind if I just nap on you for a little bit, babe? Just until the pizza gets here, I promise. Mm, you're so sweet. Mm. And you know if you run your hand through my hair like that, I'm going to fall asleep in no time. Mm. <laughs> Especially when you graze my horns like that. Mm. You're so wonderful, babe. I love you so much.